Okay. Hi, Sarah. So we're into workout number three. And we're going to do a few different things, but we're going to also build on especially those hangs we did from your chin up bar last week. We're going to use a lot of those just to really keep you moving forward. Um, we also might want more of the different types of bands that Conrad has because I think I'm going to try to set you up with a banded assist from the chin up bar, meaning we tie the bands and then we put your feet inside the bands like we've done here on our chin assist. Um, with the big blue bands that I had, we put your feet inside them. So it gets you practicing in the chin position, that hollow body hold that we were doing at the end of last workout, okay? So basically all the same tools. I think we could also get maybe laundry soap jug. That's pretty heavy if it's full or if you have one empty that we can fill up with water. Um, it'll be good for some alternating bicep curls. Um, anyway, we'll get right down to it. So we're actually going to start with the lower half of you. So we're going to need you to be near a chair or an ottoman or that piano stool bench because we're going to do an elevated glute bridge. So you're going to lay flat on your back. You're going to put your feet up on the bench. So you're going to get a better range of motion than you would off of the floor. Okay. You're going to keep your glutes tucked, your abs tight, and you're going to do 10 little top half glute bridge switch. Okay. So we're going to go back and forth three, four, five times. We'll see. Just warming up those hamstrings and glutes. The hard thing with the one leg at a time, you still have to think about flexing the buttock, not just using your low back as a lever, okay? Just like this. Okay, then we're gonna take one of your bands and we're gonna tie it around your thighs. You're gonna roll over like so, okay? And you're gonna lay flat down, you're gonna have the band's nice and tight so that we're just doing a glute raise with the added resistance of the bands. My range of motion is being limited by the bench at the moment, but we will try to go a few inches higher. What you do want to remember is keeping your abs pulled tight and squeezing the buttock as you're pushing the leg up off the floor, alternating back and forth. Okay? Then we're going to go to the chin assist bar and we're going to do three rounds of that 15 second hold so again we're going to get you so that your feet are behind you the harder one okay and you're going to be doing palms facing position you're going to hold on nice and strong you're going to lower down and you're letting the weight sink down in to the lower half of you, okay? We're gonna do that three times through. So three times 15 seconds. Then we're gonna try it, depending on what your bands are like. We're gonna try to get a loop off of the chin dip and you're gonna step inside that loop and you're gonna try a few of hopping up and controlling yourself down. It's kind of hard for me to demo that here because I'm not in the room with the chin dip assist. But, I hope that kind of makes sense to you. Then we're going to go into a high plank, okay? So like so, you're holding it nice and tight so we're further emphasizing the tight hollow body hold position and we're going to shoulder tap, okay? Alternating. We've done this here before, okay? Just like that. I think we'll go back and forth probably about 25 times. Then we're going to do our hamstring slides. So you need a frisbee, a Tupperware lid, or a towel, depending on whether you're hardwood where you are. You're going to lay flat on your back, similar to the blue bridge position. You're going to put the towel or the Tupperware lid under one heel. You're going to lift your 
hips off the floor, squeezing the glutes. One leg stays holding you, and you're sliding out and pulling back in. So this is hamstrings, okay? You're pushing out, pulling in, and it'll burn a lot in the opposing leg that's holding you up, okay? Then we'll switch. And I think we can easily do 25 to 30, okay? So we're not too far through your workout that your legs will be pooched. Just like that. And then we're gonna get up and do right leg lunge with the backpack. Let's try and make the backpack a little heavier this week. So we were around 17, 18 pounds last week. Let's up it to at least 20, okay? So you're gonna put it on and we're doing just the right leg, okay? Easily 35, I think. We're gonna increase demands on you, okay? Then, we're gonna go back down and do your hamstring slides again, okay? So, lifting your hips into the elevated bridge position, okay, like so. One heel has the towel or the Tupperware. You're pushing out, pulling in, pushing out, pulling in. Then, we'll switch. And we'll probably do a good 20 to 25 of these again. Then you guessed it, we're getting up, putting the backpack back on, and we're gonna do left leg lunge, straight down, straight up, a good 35 times, okay? So if you're finding your balance is a little off at this point, because of fatigue, we can always have you holding on to the back of the chair, okay? I don't want you falling all over the place. Then, Oh, your poor legs. Last week I was mean to your upper body, this week I'm mean to your lower body. We're gonna hold on to the backpack, you can put it on like so, or you can hold it like a duffel bag, like this guy, okay? And we're doing 30, maybe 40 if I'm really in a mean mood. Front squats, okay? Then, we are, almost to the home stretch. So I've really only done mostly the hangs and the chin dip assist for your upper body, okay, besides the high planks. We're gonna do side plank now, okay? So you're gonna go down onto one side, forearm underneath shoulder, abs pulled in, legs stacked, and we're pushing to the elevated position, okay? We're gonna try to get to a minute on this one. Just holding strong, pulling those abs in, constantly pushing the hip up. And then, we'll do the other side. And if you did really good and no problem getting to the minute, our progression is this. Let's see if I can do it. So you're pushing down through the top leg getting a little adductor stimulation, okay? And we'll try this for 30 seconds and switch to the other side, 30 seconds. And that's it. Easy peasy for workout number three.